Hi, I'm Mindy Boysen, golf fitness coach here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, according to the Titles Performance Institute, approximately a third of all amateur golfers either sway to the backswing or slide through the follow through at impact or both. Now, this happens because of two physical limitations of the body. Either one, you have trouble separating upper and lower body and torso rotation, or two, you have weak or inhibited internal rotation of either the right or the left hip. So I've showed you many, many times in past episodes on exactly how to increase your torso rotation, but today I'm going to talk a little bit more about hip rotation. Now, when you come out to the driving range, I suggest you do any standing exercises to, to um, incorporate the hips, and then I'm going to show you some um, exercises you can do on the floor or on the ground. Now, first of all, for hip rotation out on the driving range, right before you even hit and your hips are cold, I just want you to lift. Just do some side leg raises, just like this. So you're ready to warm up around that ball and socket joint, get some blood flowing, get some heat right in there. Push it out, push it out, and try a few where you turn your toe out as well. That's going to open it up. And then try a few where you turn your toe down. That's internal rotation. So you definitely want both. Now what we want to do is we want to separate upper and lower body. If you're a swayer, right foot forward. If you're a right-handed golfer, if you're a left-handed golfer and you're a swayer, put your left foot forward. Just like this, in a lunge position, rotate to the right, rotate to the right, rotate to the right, approximately 10 times. Now, if you rotate to the right and the knee follows, you're not keeping that knee in alignment and you're swaying in this position. If you're a right-handed golfer and you're a slider through impact and that knee likes to follow, Put the left knee forward, rotate the opposite direction, and rotate approximately 10 times. Okay, now those are two very good exercises and easy to do on the driving range. Side leg lifts, rotation, gets you ready for your game. On the ground is a little bit different story. You want to do these at home before you even get to the golf course. So come on down to your mat. There are two things I want you to work on. One is called a quadruped hip circle. All you're going to do is get on your hands and knees. Your, your hip joint is a ball and socket. So here's the socket, here's the ball, and you want rotation through it. So let's practice. All you're going to do, approximately five to 10 circles, one direction, internal rotation, approximately five to 10 circles, the other direction, both legs, okay? So do five to 10 one way, five to 10 the other way on one leg, and then switch. You'll feel the heat in there. One more exercise to do. I want you to just sit. Hands back, prop yourself up, not a big deal. These are just called knee drops. Back and forth. Back and forth. Perfect. Approximately 10, 20 times, whatever feels good. You can take them both together. One drops out, one drops in. And feel the stretch up around your waistline as well. It's internal rotation of the hip. You'll feel it in there. Just trying to get more rhythm more fluidity so you don't sway and you don't slide anymore. I'm Mindy Boysen. For those exercises and more, check out my site, www.fitforgolfusa.com.